Hey, what's up, guys? It's Umish Day 3 here, bringing you a map by Mr. Snufflekeens. Uh, the map is called NBA 2K552, so uh, if you're a Halo fan or an NBA 2K whatever fan, then you'll probably like that title. Um, so anyway, he has made a basketball minigame here in Halo 4 uh, using the Griff Ball game type, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so if you like Griff Ball and you like little mini games, then you're definitely going to love this. Um, pretty much, you play like basketball. You just run, you get the ball... Um, you can kill each other with hammers. The ones that uh, they have like damage turned off, so you focus on the objective are a little more boring usually. Um, so this is nice. You kill people, it gets them all away from the ball. Um, we've tested it quite a bit, and we like it more with four v four. So then there's one person up in the goal, and one person or <laughs> one person up in the goal, and then three people running around on the ground for each team. Um, so the way it works is you throw the ball up into the goal, um, but it scores because a teammate of yours is sitting up there and they can't move. They just have to kind of just wait for the ball to get thrown to him. Um, so you have to aim pretty high to get it to go up there, but it's still pretty awesome. Uh, if we had, or if he had put it any lower, it would have been probably a little bit less fun. So uh, at this, it takes skill. You can't throw it cross map. You can get some pretty good shots in though. Uh, as you can see, if you get hit with the hammer, especially, and it shoots you up in the air, you can definitely throw it pretty far. Um, so this was made by Mr. Snufflekeens and. Uh, I think his gamertag is something along the lines of, it's only fat, um, but that was his friend that he started it with, and then I went in and sort of barely helped at all, but uh, I helped a little bit, so I figure it's worth mentioning. T. Uh, so I helped, t helped him touch it up, and of course I helped uh, with the lobbies and testing it, so thanks to everybody that was in there and joined, uh, we love you, <laughs> basically. Because um, you can't test something like this with just one person, like when you have a race, you can just, you know, play by yourself and it's fine. Uh, you'll have no idea what gameplay is like if you only have one person in this, so it's great. Um, uh, it's really fun, actually, I thought. Uh, we tried it again, we had 10 or 12 people or something, um, and it was definitely way less fun. It's too crowded, too much death, too much uh, chaos, really, for it to uh, focus on the uh, the objective, which is really what makes it interesting. Um, so. Here, it's when you're up in the goals. Originally, it was just all solid, so when you were up here, you couldn't really do anything. Uh, so we changed the game type to where it's actually, uh, I don't want to make up a lie, I think four rounds or five maybe of uh, two minutes each. So it alternates the person um, who's sitting up here in the box. They can't move. They just kind of have to chill. Um, but we did go back and make it out of windows. That's pretty much what my main suggestion was. Um, and we made the backboard a little bit bigger. So now the floor and walls are glass, so you can see a little bit better. Uh, here I got an epic clip of uh, a cross-map interception into Snufflekeens. And then, boop, he throws it right in. And then it just keeps getting better. And Snufflekeens, again, for the win off a weird curveball bank in. And then another one, I believe, all within just a few seconds there. So pretty much the game, it can be really slow, and you can go a couple rounds and maybe have only a couple points here and there. Uh, or it can be really fast like that. So that's all I got for you guys for now. Again, the map and game type um, are in Mr. Snufflekeen's file share. It's really fun. Um, we played with uh, six people and eight people. Those were the ones I liked the best. Eight people especially. Uh, any more than that, it's too chaotic. Any less, and it just really isn't all that fun. Um, so if you want to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, uh, see more from us. Of course, I love comments. Uh, I love you guys. If you just leave comments and I can get back to you, I usually do pretty quickly. Uh, so if you've got any questions, then uh, leave them down there. See you all later.